What's up everybody? It's Peter and welcome to our channel. And a couple days ago, I just passed a 1000 mark on my XR. I thought I was gonna make it uh, another video, kinda review slash my opinion. So far, so good. I really like it. Even I got a uh, GT as well. GT is it's, uh, it's gonna be in a different story. Uh, XR, like I said, I mean, 1000 mile, zero broken parts, really reliable, built like I think, or like a hammer. I mean, almost impossible to, to destroy it. Got a couple upgrades, I make my own fender. Uh, I converted uh, axle hubs, uh, bra uh, brackets to a high-low uh, kit. Now it's a half-inch uh, drop, which, which I really like it, more stable than uh, original, than stack configuration. I make it my own little fingy wheels. All around, it's a pretty good machine, a really good machine, especially for rider, in my opinion, for rider under 200 pounds, that's probably the best way to go. And currently, um, uh, at some retails, you can pick it up brand new at 1500 bucks. In my opinion, to be honest, I, sh I think uh, Future Motion should, should not discontinue XR. They should keep making. Just drop it price from 18 to 1600 bucks. Will be really, really affordable and a really nice machine. Someone's gonna say, is gonna ask, well, why we need XR if we got Pine X? To be honest, I mean, I've never been a uh, big fan of Pine, Pine or Pine X. I mean, they both pretty much say the same thing, just uh, X has got a little bit extended range and slightly faster. But XR still, uh, I believe, a few miles faster than Pine X. Plus, it has a much wider stand, pretty much for some guy like me, heavy guy with a 12 size shoe or so on a bigger foot pad, uh, it's more comfortable, less foot fatigue. I mean, I still have uh, getting foot fatigue because of my weight, but uh, on the XR, like I said, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I don't own a uh, Pine X or, Pine, uh, or, or regular Pine, but I did rode it before. I didn't like it because it's kind of small board, a smaller wheel, I mean, small, smaller tire, the wheel is the same. It's, it's not as, as uh, comfortable to ride on a bumpy road. And like I said, it's my own opinion because uh, why I'm saying that, maybe it's, it's a matter of uh, time and experience. I just drove it a few laps, you know, I mean, not even a mile or so. If I have a pine for a longer period of time, I get used to it, maybe I was gonna love it, I was gonna love it the things, but uh, from, from what, what experience I got, XR, I mean, from those three, Pine, Pine X and XR, XR is gonna be the best, in my opinion. And like I said, uh, Fusion Motion sh sh should not discontinue uh, XR, they should keep making. There's a plenty of customers will be to buy it XR, for example, a uh, light guy, you know, who want to go uh, 19 to 20 mile, and it's still in uh, uh, 1600 bucks, a few hundred bucks more than XR, uh, than Pine X, but with XR, in my opinion, you're getting better, better package, bigger tire, wider stand, uh, slightly faster than XR and then Pine X, and uh, range similar to X uh, to Pine X. Like I said, all around, it's a really, really nice machine. Um, I'm glad I bought. I'm proud to own, and I'm quite happy with performance. Well, guys, pretty much that's all I got for this video. I hope it was kind of fun. Uh, interesting if you guys did enjoy thumbs up if you don't want to miss any future videos subscribe we will be real appreciate